Thank you. The floor is yours. Uh, I'll be talking about recruiting civil laborers in Serbia during the German occupation. Uh, after dismemberment of Yugoslavia in April uh, 1941, Serbia uh, <coughs> was occupied by the Germans and comprised roughly Serbia's territory before the Balkan Wars plus the Yugoslav part of the Banat. It was also already pointed out that this, this uh, map is flawed. This is the Serbian part of the Banat, so it looks like it uh, fell to R Romania, but it's not true. It's actually, it re remained part of the occupied Serbia and its duty was to feed the German Reich, uh, the German troops in, in, in Serbia and population of Belgrade. Uh, so this territory had estimated 51 square kilometers and some 3.8 million people. The number of Serbian refugees from neighboring territories who sought shelter in Serbia during World War II ranged between 241,000 and 400,000, depending on the sources, on the time, and so on. As opposed to this huge influx, there was also a loss of some 140,000 Serbian prisoners of war taken to camps in Germany, Germany and Austria, but the, the then Germany. As labor force, most of these men were in the best age brackets. Because of Serbia's predominantly agrarian economic structure, the main German interest in Serbia, apart from securing the communications, was grain, fats and oils and ores from the Serbian mines, above all zinc from uh, Trepča in Kosovo and copper from the Bor mine as well as the Serbian labor force. On the whole, there was enough labor force in Serbia, but part of it was wrongly employed. As soon as they took office, the German authorities started complaining about too large bureaucracy and demanded its reduction. Actually, uh, Serbia inherited a large part of the central Yugoslav uh, bureaucracy of the pre-war period. The German authorities were interested in using Serbian labor force in Serbia herself for supplying raw materials, ores and foodstuffs, producing industrial goods for German war economy in several factories, and in sending workers to industrial plants uh, and to agriculture in Germany. Thus, there were basically three kinds of workers in which the Nazi authorities were interested. Peasants, industrial and mining workers, and guest workers for German economy in the Reich. Since the German occupation authorities had not enough men to staff the administration, Serbian collaborationist administration was set up in mid-May 1941. It had to transmit and implement German orders and enable the Germans to run the country with as little waste of German manpower, effort or material resources as possible. The first to be re recruited for work were the Jews, as we have already heard. On German orders in Belgrade and other larger towns, they were called up by town administrations to clear debris between late April and mid-June 1941. The Jews in the Banat where uh, there were few war damages, were recruited for odd jobs, chopping woods, cleaning barracks, washing clothes for the Wehrmacht or the local Volksdeutsche. Those works were only partly meaningful and were often devised only in order to torment and demean the Jews. So many of them were completely senseless. Due to their comprehensively small, uh, comparatively small number, and more sinister plans the, uh, the Nazis had with them, the Jews of Serbia never had the chance of becoming a serious pool for recruitment of labor force. With 85.71% uh, 85 in 1931 census, the peasants made up easily the largest part of Serbian population. They were expected to feed themselves, the towns, the Wehrmacht and Bulgarian troops, who exercised exercised a vicarious power for the Germans in large part of Serbia. This uh, Bulgarian occupied territory was uh, at first in the southern parts, but eventually it spread throughout Serbia, uh, reaching almost Belgrade uh, by 1944, because uh, German troops were uh, increasingly thinner on the ground. Um, Furthermore, uh, uh, it was expected of Serbian uh, peasants to um, provide some uh, food for exportation to the Reich. 
So they had to be cajoled into playing, uh, planting more and browbeaten into selling considerable share of their yield to the Serbian collaborationist government at fixed low prices. The collection was done by Serbian authorities with German military and police assistance when needed. In 1942, planned agriculture was introduced. Peasants were ordered what and in which quantity to plant, and as well as what and at what price to sell to the authorities, but also to the citizenry. In that way, although they continued to work on their own plots, on their own, they were harnessed primarily for German interests. In order to be able to satisfy their own, they had to sell or barter their products at grain market. When it comes to labor force, the main problem of the German authorities was to secure workers for mines of importance for German war industry, above all in the large copper mine uh, bore, as we have heard and the surrounding building sites connected with it. Actually, it was, uh, on one hand, you had the, uh, the, the mine itself, on the other hand, you had the, uh, the roads, railways, and, and uh, infrastructure that had to be built so that uh, the Borg uh, can uh, uh, operate. Uh, <clears throat> this was done, uh, so, uh, to, uh, this, meaning the recruitment of the, the labor force, was done with the ordinance of mandatory labor and limit, uh, limitation of choice of employment of uh, December 14, 1941. It foresaw mandatory labor service up to six months and affected some 30 people a year in Bor alone. So it was worked also in many other places, but in smaller numbers. The ordinance was issued by the uh, Serbian collaboration, collaborationist government at German prodding. For the execution of the ordinance, no new institutions were set up. It was in the hands of the Serbian government organs. German uh, general planning potentiary for the economy, Franz Neuhausen, would determine the number of laborers needed for the subsequent year. The Serbian government would assign quotas to counties, these to districts, and districts had to distribute them among communes. Communal elders determined who had to go, which, as can be imagined, was not always done without personal or political bias or bribe. The program was put to practice in spring 1942. Throughout 1942 and 1943, sending people to mandatory labor was one of the collaborationist authorities' main task. Formally, the people liable for mandatory work, as it was called, signed work contracts with mostly German companies working in Borg, Kostolac, and building sites around them. They were uh, entitled to salaries, free transportation to place of work and back home, board and lodging. In practice, however, salaries were extremely low, often paid with great delays, or in some cases never. Living and working conditions were extremely hard. Working sites were under armed guard. Uh, partly to defend them from possible attacks of the resistance movements, but primarily to prevent the laborers from escaping. Small wonder that mandatory labor soon became so ill-reputed that workers had to be accompanied by police or district officials from their home places to the place of work, and that despite that, um, many deserted already on the way or soon after the arrival. Many more escaped before serving their turn. This led the German authorities to prolong the term of work arbitrarily until enough replacements arrived. This in turn led to increased number of escapes which created a vicious circle. For smallest infringements of the rules, laborers were punished with additional months of work. In that case, it was called forced labor, which I mentioned before the lunch. Uh, and it was done under even more severe conditions because uh, mandatory laborers were free to, to move around in their spare, spare time to go to a cafe to buy food and so on and so on. Whereas forced laborers were really in a kind of concentration camp and they couldn't leave and uh, couldn't buy extra food and so on. The mandatory work, although, uh, presented, as, uh, although presented as civic duty, was forced labor in everything but name. This is best proven by the fact that some 6,000 uh, Hungarian Jews were sent by the Hungarian government in agreement with the Reich's authorities in summer 1943 to complement the ever-lacking la uh, labor force. The Serbian Jews could not be recruited for mandatory labor, having been wiped out by the time it was launched. 
in Serbia proper. Mandatory labor was a male affair altogether. Not so in the Banat, that had considerable Volksdeutsche population. It was seen by the Nazis as the main supplier of export foodstuffs. At the same time, it was also seen by Himmler as the reservoir of manpower for the waffen -SS. This means that many Volksdeutsche estates were left without male labor force. Mandatory workers, mostly Serbs, had to fill the gap. Since, since it was work in the fields, stables and the like, females were used here too. Since 1943, when the Luftwaffe started building airfields in the Banat, women were taken uh, even to those works. On the other hand, not so many men from the Banat were sent to Bor and other mines in Serbia, being needed in the local agriculture, although there were cases when people from, from the Banat were sent to Serbia. Recruitment and distribution of labor force uh, were done by the local authorities in which the ethnic Germans played the main role. Another form recruit of uh, recruiting labor force was the National Service for Renewal of Serbia. The NSRS was set up in late 1941. It was foreseen that all men between 17 and 45 uh, would serve, but in practice only youths were called up because the extreme right-wing coll collaborationist regime wanted to re-educate them through work in spirit of nationalism, anti-communism, anti-Semitism, anti-democracy, loyalty to the national community, and to teach them that duties came before rights. Another reason why only you served was that people of more mature ages were called up for mandatory work. In fact, the NSRS was an introduction into mandatory labor later on in life. To be sure, educational goals were always intertwined with political and economic ones. As with mandatory labor, the primary initiator of the NS NSRS were German officials. The model was found in the labor service of the Reich. This showed in whose interest the re-education of the young had been in the first place. Service in the, the NSRS was mandatory and without having served at least six months in it, one could not study at the university or get a job in the state or local government. It was a typical quasi-state institution with paramilitary organization and way of life. Disobedience was punishable with fines and even arrest up to 30 days. Threats did not always suffice, so the police sometimes had to round up those liable but unwilling to serve. National indoctrination was imparted through political and ideological lectures and cultural programs prepared by the uh, servicemen themselves. However, work was considered the supreme means of education. It was supposed to acquaint particularly town youths who made up the majority of those called up since village lads had enough to do on their farms with physical labor and to teach them to respect it. Furthermore, common work of youths from all social strata was to erase social differences, which is the wish of every nationalism, and to bring together youths from town and uh, from the country that was a special Serbian need because there was a pretty big a social divide uh, within a Serbian society between people living in towns and peasants who felt themselves to be exploited by city bureaucracy, uh, lawyers, uh, doctors, and so on and so on. It is not known how many boys served in the NSRS because the data are incomplete. It seems that the trend went upward from 21,300 in 1942 to 43,000 in 1942-43. Apart from shirking, the factor limiting the number of boys in the service was lack of tools, shoes, and uniforms. The servicemen worked at uh, drainage, forestation, improving of fields at farms without uh, enough labor force, rebuilding of ruined places and objects, at the road building, at the archaeological excavations, collecting material, uh, medical herbs, and so on. Because of the Allied bombings uh, from spring 1944, the tasks of the NS. RS were increasingly clearing of debris rather than building new objects. Since educational goals were more important than economic ones, the youth in the NSRS worked only in the morning. Afternoons were reserved for lectures, sports and activities of clubs and amateur associations. Lectures had nationalist, political and anti-Semitic topics. 
Amateur theatres, choirs, musical bands, sports and folklore clubs were set up. They disseminated propaganda not only among the servicemen, but also among the general population in places where labor units were stationed. In, other, in order to make this culture of propaganda more effective, the amateur associations and clubs of the servicemen were sometimes reinforced by several girls or professional actors or musicians. The programs of their performances had to be strictly national, Serbian folk songs, Serbian plays and poems. School children were not spared from some force, forms of forced labor either. Since the collaborationists uh, view the, uh, the young as in the need of correction, together with a reform of the educational system they undertook, they saw work as the best way to reshape the youth. Work was impossible, imposed also on school children who had to do school gardens and plant vegetables for school ki uh, kitchen, kitchen in which poor pu pupils were fed partly for economic reasons, but because of its social meaning, this word had an educational component too. Pupils were also used for cleaning snow, so as to be useful for the broader, albeit local community, which was seen as a step towards integration into the national community. It was the word uh, the, the collaborationist regime they, uh, took over from the Nazis. Furthermore, this was uh, to teach them that a man, this is quotation, a man and the people make progress only through honest and assiduous work in which also the most beautiful life satisfaction lies, as the educational minister Jonic said. Apart from uh, the formerly free work of peasants, mandatory labor uh, and the NSRS, the German occupiers recruited Serbian labor force for work in Germany too. However, this was in most cases, except for a small number of deportees, voluntary and freely contracted. The motives were the press campaign wished to avoid mandatory labor or being recruited into partisan or chetnik units, so the, the resistance movements, or the desire to earn more than in Serbia or to be safe from German reprisals caused by the uprising. In summer 1941, Franz Neuhausen and his team hoped to recruit 75,000 manual laborers for Germany by the end of the year. The German and Serbian authorities insisted issued uh, no ordinance in order to facilitate that, but 16 recruiting officers of the Reich's Ministry of Labor came to Serbia in late June 1941. They worked with the Central Employment Administration and employment offices in the larger, uh, largest towns Belgrade, Bečkerek and Niš. Later on, their number was increased by opening branches in smaller towns. Serbian officials had to follow orders of their German superiors in promoting work in the Reich. These Serbian uh, institutions also had to defray the costs of the recruitment. Some, uh, so the transportation of uh, the volunteers to Belgrade from where they traveled, uh, medical examinations and stuff like that. Uh, some German companies tried to attract workers directly by publishing ads in the newspapers. The first group of uh, thousand workers, attracted by good working and living conditions, uh, high payments by Serbian standards, eight free pay days a year and other benefits, left for Germany already on July the 4th, 1941. The government organs also advertised employment in Germany. Thus, the Commissary for Refugees informed uh, the communes on August the 16th, 1941, to spread the word among the refugees, that is, among the most vulnerable section of the society about the possibilities of employment in Germany. Not everyone went as volunteer. The fight against the partisans and the Chetniks uh, probably made it possible to smuggle part of the captives to work in the Reich. We have heard about deportees to, to Norway and uh, part of them uh, ended up in, in Germany as volunteers. Between early July and late August, 1941, 7,328 workers were recruited for industry and 14,909 for agriculture. By the end of the year, according to German data, there were uh, 32,000 Serbian workers in the Reich. It seems uh, transportation difficulties made it impossible to send a larger number. Until mid-1942, the number of Serbian workers in Germany reached 43,700. 
Uh, despite the increased shortage of labor force in Germany, recruitment had to stop, then because the same shortage began to be felt in Serbia itself. Uh, we have heard about that uh, this morning, especially in and around war. In spring 1943, recruitment was renewed and 3,400 workers applied. Subtracting those whose contracts had expired and those who had broken them and re returned home before uh, they were due, German historian Karl Heinz Schlarp estimated that uh, there were be, uh, between 35 and 45 Serbian workers in Germany at that point. After a slowdown in recruitment in summer 1943, the total reached some 65,000 by the end of the year. However, the German documents uh, testify uh, there were also forced laborers from concentration camps, captured partisans among them. So among these uh, 65. Uh, there is also one, uh, another interesting thing. Not all of those workers coming from Serbia were actually Serbs. There were also Albanians uh, who had Serbian citizenship from northern Kosovo who also went uh, and uh, uh, worked in Germany, but they were all per perceived by the German authorities as Serbs. Um, Although Neuhausen's report from early 1944 spoke of uh, 63,000 Serbian workers in the Reich, there were actually only 30 to 35,000. The interest in going to work in Germany decreased drastically in 1944 because German towns were increasingly exposed to bombings, uh, wages were losing the race with inflation, rations became shorter and German defeat was in sight. For these reasons, only 3,850 people went in that year. It will be difficult to paint a unified picture of actual living conditions of Serbian workers in Germany. Since they were scattered all over the Reich, Serbian government organs could not visit all of them, and it is certain that the German authorities let them see those whose situation was more favorable. However, the absence of horror stories about the, uh, in public memory after World War II seem to uh, give reason to believe that living conditions were decent under the given circumstances compared to forced laborers, people in concentration camps, uh, uh, soldiers and so on. The communist authorities collected data about forced laborers after the war, but because of uh, incompletely preserved documents, conflicting numbers in them, the fact that uh, free and forced labor uh, workers often work together because many people have served several terms and last but not least, because the line between different kinds of work was clear, we heard about Kuluk this morning, so, uh, um, it is difficult to de determine the exact number of people who did forced labor. The State Commission for Determining Crimes of the Occupiers and Their Helpers found that only uh, 16,500 had worked in war during the war. The total number for whole Serbia was given as 64,291, although a single document from 1943 spoke of almost 130,000 in that year alone. Apart from the above uh, listed reasons, it is uh, obvious that not all former forced laborers had registered their working stints with the Commission because they did not trust the new authorities or were afraid they would be regarded as collaborators for having worked for the Germans or simply because they did not expect to gain any redress. To be sure, some did not live to tell. As for those who uh, went to work in Germany on their own free will, they had all the reasons in the world to keep their mouths shut. Thus, the total number of workers recruiting for various kinds of free and unfree labor remains unknown. Thank you.